Have you ever wondered why sometimes there is a visually appealing design, but people hate it? Or there is a horrible UI design that helps the user achieve their goals? Hi, my name is Dara, and I am UX UI designer at Sidon. And today I want to talk about some design mistakes and ways to fix them. Today we will review the design for mobile banking app. There is a plenty of screens like that on Dribble. Looks pretty, but I can show you some UX mistakes that were made here. Mistake number one is wording problems. Interface text should be simple and direct to avoid confusion. Instead of selected amount to spend, a more appropriate title would be budget. The mistake number two is that the budget card has hierarchy mistakes and takes too much space. The card indicates how much of your budgeted money has been spent. This card's main components are spending and the reminder of the budget's money. It is difficult for the user to keep up with everything and complete their primary goal. There is also insufficient space for transactions. However, transactions are a more vital aspect of mobile banking than budgeting. I switch the pie chart to a progress bar and include a percentage. It would free up the vertical space while emphasizing the left budget. The next mistake is that the bar chart by day is uninformative. It's important for users to see the full picture of their spendings. It gives them a feeling of control over their finances. This is the goal of the bar chart below the budget section. This specific chart shows the dynamics, not the specific amount spent on each day. One of the solutions could be adding the amount above or below. But as I said before, transactions are more important information. The best solution for me is to get rid of the chart and put it in a more detailed view on another page. Every idea does not have to be featured on the home page. Sometimes less data is more UX. Next, the date filter is outside the budget card. Users need this filter for filtering different time ranges, but the color of inactive filters has low contrast, hence is almost invisible for a user. Also, having this filter outside the card is confusing. It's nearly impossible to tell what we filter. Is it a set budget or the entire page content? To avoid confusion, I placed the filter inside the card and increased the contrast. Transactions filter is confusing because there is no header. In this case, we have a filter group and transactions. User can perceive the categories as a group of buttons. Because there is no header, transactions fall apart from categories. I would add a header here. We can group information this way and the section will be complete. Next, looks like there are only four categories and that's not true. There is no visible content on the right, so the user couldn't get the hint that the filter is scrollable. To solve the problem, I added one more category that's picking out of the screen. This way, users will be able to access more content and will start scrolling. The next mistake is the hierarchy inside of the transaction card. Users should see a large number of transactions. The image is too big and the transaction card takes too much vertical space. The text has the same color, but has contrast only due to the size. Labels left and spent are confusing and non-informative. Also, when spending money, I picture red color, not blue. I decided to reduce the size of the image, increase the contrast of the text, and remove the labels. I also changed the color for expenditures and profits. The next is Dribble style menu. The menu is the primary source of app navigation. It optimizes the time needed for goal accomplishment and improves the user experience. It's almost impossible to tell what the icons resemble. Tab zone is moving depending on the text inside. I would switch the Dribble style menu to a more classic one with icons and labels. Now, even if the user couldn't catch the meaning of the icon, they have extra information to navigate. Now let's proceed to the second screen. The first mistake that I spot here is duplicates. Design consistency doesn't mean that solutions should duplicate, especially if they are not functional. For example, on the first screen, title is the amount of money and the label is available balance. On the second screen, however, we can only see the title cards. 
The user profile button duplicates too, but on the second screen it only disrupts the user from the main content of the page. I got rid of the small label to provide more vertical space. The same goes for the user profile. The next mistake is also a consistency mistake. Button for requesting card and button for requesting loan have different styles. Any controls that have similar functionality should have a similar style too. Design should follow this rule to make the behavior of the elements more predictable. It helps users to learn quicker and avoid confusion when something's going wrong. So I made the same style for both buttons. The next problem is hierarchy, and loan card is holding the information of the amount and date of the next payment and the initial loan size. The chart should represent the correlation between paid and unpaid loan amounts. But the card has many problems with it. Title student loan is the name of the loan, but not the label for the initial amount. The date and amount of the next payment are not equal because the amount has more contrast than the date. The date itself has poor visibility due to the small font size. So I put an emphasis on the title to help users differentiate different loans. I put the initial amount in a smaller size under the title to keep it less noticeable. This amount is not very important since it will change with time. I organized the next payment date and amount in a column with labels and higher contrast text. I also included information about payments remaining. Now it's clear why we have the chart and what it exactly means. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Tell us in the comments below what design we should review in the next video.